two big shows will soon be playing under one roof. Katie Broman with the Omaha Community Playhouse joins us now to talk about the production of Hands on a Hard Body and Jesus Christ Superstar. Let's start with Hands on a Hard Body because that's up and running now, isn't yes, it? Yes, absolutely. So tell us the storyline of this. Okay, so it sounds kind of provocative, but it's It does. Not. That's why I want you to clear it the up right now. The Hard Body <laughs> is a Nissan Hard Body truck. Okay. So it takes place in Longview, Texas. It's based on a true story and a documentary. Mm -hmm. And there are 10 contestants trying to win a Nissan Hard Body truck. And it's one of those typical competitions from the 90s where they have to keep their hand on the truck. I remember seeing TV shows yes, like that. So absolutely. they have to keep their hands on the truck the whole time throughout yes. the whole performance. And the last person standing wins the truck. Oh my gosh. And we learn that this truck means a lot more to them than just a free truck. It's their financial freedom. It's mm. their ticket out of Texas. It's their way to a job or get an education. And we just really learn about the, their, the character stories and we start to root for them. Um, it has a lot of heart. It's a lot of fun, but it has a lot of heart, this musical. And I heard the music's pretty good. A little, a little gospel, a little country. Yes, the front man, or the person who actually composed the music is the front man of Fish. Oh, the, really? The jam band Fish, yeah. Trey Anastasio. So it, uh, it has a little country, a little funk, some gospel. It's very eclectic. We would be surprised by the winner. I think so. <laughs> okay. Yes, you so, will. So tell me about the feedback, because this has been playing for a, little, a week or two now. So what have people been saying about Everybody's it? Everybody's been having so much fun. I think everybody goes into it not really knowing what to expect, yeah. because it's not a common musical. And it sounds like a really unusual <laughs> concept. But people have been having a lot of fun. And everybody's surprised at how involved they get with yeah. these characters and start rooting for who they want to win. And I think you will be surprised with who wins. That sounds like an excellent show. Well, let's talk about another big show, Jesus Christ Super. Star. And perhaps you have heard of that because that's been around for decades, hasn't yes, it? Yes, it's been around for over 40 years. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's this legendary rock opera by Tim Rice and Andrew Lloyd Webber. And they take the greatest story ever told and turn it into a rock opera. So it's a really powerful show. A lot of people know it. A lot of people love it. So we're really excited about it. And it's centered around the last seven days of Jesus Christ, right? That's right. Through the eyes of not him, though. It's more, uh, it's it's Judas's story just as much as it's Jesus's mm -hmm. story. And one thing that is so wonderful about the show is that you get to see Jesus the man because, you know, people believe that Jesus was 100% God, 100% man, and mm -hmm. you get to see the um, pain or the, the anger or, you know, just concern for what's happening around him. Um, and it's really still such a... Um, it's a story that yeah. still touches people, and our director has taken a contemporary spin on it, so um, you kind of take the greatest story ever told and make it relevant to today's society. And a good idea for churches to go now with Easter Sunday approaching soon. Yes. So for ticket information, you can go to omahaplayhouse.org. Mm -hmm. Again, Jesus Christ Superstar starts March 6th. Hands on a hard party already going on. Yes. Thank you so much. Thanks Great for to having talk me. with you.